So, Mr Speaker, the choice is clear. We can choose to leave with no deal, we can risk no Brexit at all, or we can choose... can choose to unite and support the best deal that can be negotiated. Prime Minister. Delivering Brexit involves difficult choices for all of us. We do not agree on all of those choices, but I respect their views and I would like to thank them sincerely for all that they have done. Mr Speaker, yesterday we agreed the provisional terms of our exit from the European Union, set out in the draft withdrawal agreement. We also agreed the broad terms of our future relationship in an outline political declaration. President Juncker has now written to the President of the European Council to recommend that decisive progress has been made in the negotiations, and a special European Council will be called for Sunday, the 25th of November. This puts us close to a Brexit deal. Mr. Speaker, what we agreed yesterday was not the final deal. It is a draft treaty. It is a draft treaty that means that we will leave the EU in a smooth and orderly way on the 29th of March 2019. And which sets the framework for a future relationship that delivers in our national interest. It takes back control of our borders, laws and money. It protects protects jobs, security and the integrity of the United Kingdom and it delivers in ways that many said could simply not be done. I believe that, and there are many aspects of the uh, deal that we have agreed, that actually ensure that we are preserving the integrity of the United Kingdom. That particular issue, I will disappoint my right honourable friend. I am not going to change the position I have taken in this House, and indeed taken more widely. Uh, I believe that it is the duty of members of this Parliament to ensure that we deliver on the choice that was made by the British people, a choice that this Parliament overwhelmingly decided to give them. That means that we will not be taking the option that she said of remaining in the European Union, but we will indeed be leaving the European Union, and that will happen on the 29th of March next year. This deal, a deal that ends free movement, takes back control of our borders, laws and money, delivers a free trade area for goods with zero tariffs, leaves the common agricultural policy and the common fisheries policy, delivers an independent foreign and defence policy, while retaining the continued security cooperation to keep our people safe, maintains shared commitments to high standards, protects jobs, honours the integrity of our United Kingdom, and delivers the Brexit the British people voted for. I choose to deliver for the British people. I choose to do what is in our national interest, and I commend this statement to the House.